What does she wear? Sleeping peacefully after taking injection on her thighs. I'm so sorry, baby. So so sorry. But she looks like an angel sleeping. See how cute. vaccination today and my babe has been cranky like oh like I said she's sweating because she's she's sorry 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 because she's cranky they told me to give her paracetamol so I've just given her some hoping she feels better but she just really upset and cranky like I've never ever seen her like this never 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 this is what I made for dinner. Yam porridge. I have plantain in there as well. With ugu and uziza leaves and uh, grilled turkey. Tastes so good. You guys, I just want us to just have a quick conversation about something. Before I vaccinated Tiara today, I was very, very conflicted. Like, I've been thinking about, and I think it's because I, I am on YouTube and I follow other um foreign channels and i see what they say about vaccination um a lot of people are saying that vaccination is the reason there is an increase in autism and some of all these other do you understand um sicknesses illnesses that are not explained and they have no cure right now 
and I'm thinking is it true <laughs> because I've been following their stories um, and of course we've been seeing a rise in children with all these um, illnesses and I'm like is vaccination the, the, the reason why it is on high like that is vaccination the cause and when I was taking Tiara to get um, vaccinated, I was like, oh gosh, should I hold on? What should I do? But of course, I vaccinated her. And I just realized that actually there are even two sides to the argument because there are the parents that don't want to vaccinate because they don't want their children to be at risk of... I would just use autism, autism as an example. They're at risk of autism and the likes. And then there are some parents that vaccinate and they're like, you that you do not vaccinate your child, you are now putting my child that I vaccinated at risk or something like that. But if a child is vaccinated, I am they off the risk. But anyway, I, all I know is that the child that is vaccinated is actually protecting the child that was not vaccinated. Like imagine if all of us didn't vaccinate, like all the children would just be catching like measles and all these other dreaded diseases that we use vaccination for <sighs> you guys the thing when i'm thinking about it my head is just turning around turning around i really want to look into it more and and just feel comfortable you know sometimes they say too much information is bad that's what's doing me right now too much information because when it was tito's turn like i didn't even think about it for one second i mean vaccination is something all of us do like you have to do it i was vaccinated nothing happened to me and tito was vaccinated but it's just these recent conversations these days just making me confused and thinking is there more to like what would a parent rather risk would you rather risk your child catching measles and some of these other diseases or getting autistic because they were vaccinated i think because autism is one of the more um pronounced um things that people are trying to link with vaccination there is no proof you guys there is there's no proof this is just conversation and this is just what um what people are saying that's what i'm telling you i'm telling you what people are saying and people are trying to link the two together because they're like autism not really did like that before why 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 do we have it now why is it so much everywhere could it be because of the vaccinations and then the other people are like well vaccinations have been there since forever they're trying to protect our children and i just feel this is the point as a parent you realize parenting is not easy parenting is not just about paying school fees parenting is is not the cute stuff you see on instagram or oh, wearing cute clothes and you know children are so adorable parenting is just making decisions and hoping and praying <sighs> i'm putting in the work that and, and and just doing everything that you think is right for your child because at the end of the day what you do might not be right for your child but you you feel it is or you think it is or this is how it is done i don't know it's just i was so so confused before taking tiara for vaccinations before i went and i did it anyways and i just wanted us to talk about it niger parents do you guys worry about stuff like that or is this just an obodoibo problem I, I usually thought that autism was something a child was born with like the baby is born with autism but apparently like the child is normal until maybe they are like three years old or four years old and then autism starts so I think that's why a lot of parents are concerned that it is because of the vaccinations. I know our Ninja <laughs> YouTube um, <laughs> YouTube space is still developing, so I've not even heard any of that conversation. But I've been I've been watching a lot of these videos, and I don't know. I just, it just made me worried, <laughs> worried, so 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 worried that I started researching about it as well. So I just I just pray God will just help all of us and guide all of us and protect our children. That is my biggest prayer. I pray that there is a cure for autism 
I really like I pray with all my heart hello guys hope you are doing well today I'm excited because I feel like I'm going to eat good food I'm going to the GTB food and drink festival and today is the last day I've been dreading going to it because the la this time last year when we had it um, the traffic was mad I don't even think we got there so we're leaving very early in the morning hoping we can beat the traffic but today is the public holiday it is a public holiday and you know how Lagosians are they might choose today to go for it especially as today is the last day I think the event has been going on for like three or four days now I don't know why I waited to the last day anyways um today is not going to school so we're all going together madam tiara is here you can see her unicorn <laughs> she's just sleeping there my room is a mess this morning but i don't care i don't care i barely got enough sleep these days i have been extra extra busy i don't want to say tired because it looks like tired is a mommy's word like mummies are always tired is there any mommy that is not tired if you're a mommy and you're not tired just let me know but i'm currently going through a bit of sleepless nights and very very busy days because i have a lot of things i've been working on and they keep me so so busy so when the baby is sleeping that i'm supposed to be sleeping mommy is busy typing away or doing something or just editing and doing a lot of things really and i enjoy what i do so i'm not complaining so i'm just even grateful that i can work from home and take care of my baby and do everything i want to do so i'm very very happy actually just exhausted so yeah we're getting ready tito is having his breakfast and then off we go oh by the way i checked my analytics and he said like 60% of my viewers are not subscribed that means 60% of you that watch this video you have not clicked the subscribe button so if 60% of you were subscribed I'll probably be on 500,000 subscribers or something is that what it means if you have not subscribed and you're watching this video you are doing a bad thing and I am very very offended please click the subscribe button please it is free don't charge you for subscribing please click it and then please click the like button it helps out my videos a lot don't ever forget to click the like button you can see i feel very ginger this morning i don't know what it is maybe it's the thought of eating food that is make, making me excited at GTB food and drinks we just got out of the car now
guys so i just left the venue it was so crowded you guys you know how crowded spaces make me feel like they make me feel so nervous madam tiara she behaved very well she was cranky for a bit but she recovered after some breastfeeding <laughs> i had to stop at this uh, place where a lady sells um nigerian chocolates and the chocolates look so good i breastfed her day <laughs> so the lady was kind enough to let me sit in her stall and be doing baby duties and then after breastfeeding she put food we had to change diaper again i'm like ah then she became cranky but <laughs> but, but now she's sleeping so she's good she's good Tito was his daddy's business, so I did not mind what Tito was doing. Daddy was taking him up and down and taking him on rides and everything, baby stuff or toddler stuff. So we're about to leave now and I have had a very, very good day. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. If you have, click the like button and subscribe. And to everybody that I saw today, love you. Bye. Hello guys, hope you are doing well um today i'm dressed in a white dress and i really like it i feel like a bride <laughs> i don't know why i really like this dress i got it today and i'm wearing it already i have an event i'm going for i'm going for the launch of cortex i've been using their panty liner for a while so i was so excited when they reached out to me so we're going for the launch and i'm hoping to have a nice evening I met Sissy up okay. She has a YouTube channel, so you guys yeah. subscribe to her channel. I do. <laughs> again today we will send me a message but thank god i have slippers as well
I can tell time for you to undress it's raining cats and dogs outside ah, somebody is happy so we are back from the Cotex launch it was a lovely event I met so many nice people and I, I don't know I really like this dress I don't want to take it off I really like this dress I don't want to take it off look at my hands oh I have to wash that off but look at this it was raining cats and dogs while we were coming so now it's time for me to take off my clothes and take my bath and jump into bed. I deserve to rest. 